Next up, we're at the Yas Marina circuit for the recent Formula Drift Urban Skills Competition, where the cream of the US drift scene wowed the crowds with some hot door-to-door -door sideways action. Full throttle caught up with the drivers in the pre-showdown practice to get their impressions of the circuit. This is like uh, one of the greatest circuit we ever drift, I think. This place is, you know, sacred ground, so it's a little bit uh, interesting to come out here and absolutely just obliterate it with uh, tires, but that's kind of what drifting's all about, is the fun of it. When I love this track, it has all the good aspects of a drift track. So, uh, you know, you have a high-speed entry. And then you have a narrow, wide-angle ladder section, so I love it, had a lot of fun. The switch is super fast and you're just switching straight into this big long wall bank along here which is the outside clipping zone into a super tight section so then it's like slowing down trying to get the car reverse angle and uh, yeah then back through this tight section to another outside clipping wall so I mean you couldn't ask for a better track to put on a show especially with the whole grandstand setup. So after a few hours of setting up the cars and getting to know the switches in the track it was time to gear up for the showdown in front of the enthusiastic Abu Dhabi crowd. This is Frederick Azabo's rookie year in Formula Drift, while New Zealander Mac Widdett showed impressive form last season in the Red Bull Mazda RX-8. But it's Ryan Tuak in the blue and silver Pontiac Solstice and Tanner Faust in the Rockstar Scion TC who would be the men to watch. The track is one that lends itself to, to a high revving, high horsepower car, which is what uh, this car is. So. Um, feels good. The sport of drifting is just chaotic. You can only have so much control because there's just so much going on. You never can have a plan for the run like you can in road racing. You just have to react. Knockout rounds out of the way, the duel came down to four drivers. First, the battle for third place, which went down to the wire between Tanner Faust and Mike Widdett. And it was Faust who just edged Widdett off the podium. And then on to the final between Frederick Azabo in the Toyota Supra and Chris Fosberg in the NOS Nissan 350Z. But the run wasn't without incident, as Fosberg overcooked the left-hander and took out Azabo's onboard camera. This killed his rhythm for the rest of the run, which meant it was the Norwegian 26-year-old rookie, Frederick Azabo, who took the win. On behalf of everybody back home, you know, we've been, we've been, Working so hard to even get here, qualifying last, going through the ladder against these tough guys, you know, it's it's an honor, just an honor to have all the support around here and be able to, to get this far, you know, it shows you don't have to have uh, an energy drink sponsor to be up there, you know, I like my water, and, you know, meeting, meeting the, the real family here means a lot to me. So a fantastic inaugural Formula Drift event comes to a radical climax. And don't forget to watch this space for news of future drift competitions throughout the region.